check, check, check. Checky, check, check. Okay, I think we're good to go. I think we're, I think we're chilling. I think we're vibing. But I think it's time for a little Sam Downey video. Sam Downey. Da, da, da. Action. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? It's Sam Downey here. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at SamDowney44. Also, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right here. So that's YouTube.com slash SamDowney. I'm posting videos here all the time about like trans stuff, non-binary stuff, stuff. Yeah, you know what's up. Make sure to hit it. If you like me, if you like trans people, you know, so that means, yeah, you gotta, you gotta subscribe. You gotta, you gotta fucking do it. Just fucking, you fucking do it. You do it. Today's gonna be a fun video, you know? Um, thought I'd give you guys a little HRT update, you know, updating on the hormone replacement therapy because I know you guys love these kind of videos and I haven't done as many recently just because, you know, I've gotten to a point where I'm almost at two years on HRT. So, you know, I just wanted to kind of update people just, uh, you know, on a couple of the changes that I've had. So I guess we start off with uh, face changes. So obviously my face has gotten a lot more feminine. Um, I still do grow facial hair. I think a lot of people think that, you know, you stop growing facial hair after a while. You don't. Um, I still grow facial hair. It's very patchy though, and it can be a little bit dry, especially around the neck area, but it does still grow in and it still is, you know, pretty dark. I do have darker hair. So, you know, I feel like if you, if you have like blonde hair or lighter hair, it probably isn't as noticeable, but I do have darker hair. Like, so it is, noticeable after a couple of days for sure i usually do shave every day but you know that really does come down to you know what kind of like hair texture you have basically right i say my eyes have gotten a little bit more on the feminine side and a lot more prominent i would say um but overall, not really that much changes. The main change I would say is the the face. My face has gotten a little bit more rounder. It's not as like chiseled, right? Which is which is dope. You know, it's, it's cute. It's cute. You know what I'm saying? It's cute. Sorry, my nose is kind of itchy today. Yeah, my nose is also itchy. You know. Let's get into uh, libido changes. This is a big one. I would say my libido has came back now. I can obviously still get an erection on my own by myself. Um, it can be a little bit difficult with like um, if I'm with like a partner and like penetration and stuff it's like i can get hard but it's like hard to stay hard almost right so you know obviously doing things that you know i have to be hard for a decent amount of time those are a little bit difficult to do but you know you kind of realize when you're on hormones and you're transitioning you realize uh after a while that you're into other things as well and you just gotta find out what makes you you know get off basically um because penetration isn't just everything right especially someone like me who's into girls penetration isn't everything like there's other things you can do like oral right or like like, um, you know, even just like cuddling. <laughs> I like cuddles. When it comes to like ejaculation, it's like a drop or two. It's usually um, on the clear side too, right? Like it's not like white or anything, but yeah, it's about a drop or two. You know, if I actually edge for a while, I can usually get a decent shot out, <laughs> a decent shot. I need a decent shot. But you know, if I'm just like not edging, it's like, yeah, it's like a drop or two really, right? Obviously something to consider as well. It's not like, you know, what you see on like trans porn or whatever, where it's like fucking, you know, like girl shoots out like a fucking crazy ass load like yeah no that doesn't happen next thing i'd say is breast growth uh breast growth I would say my breast growth, it has slowed down over the last couple of months for sure, but it's still pretty prominent. Um, you know, I would say, yeah, I'd say it's slower, but you know, it's still, they still are growing. It's kind of gotten to the point now where even like wearing sports bras for a long time, like it's kind of uncomfortable. I know you, I used to be super into sports bras. Now I usually just wear regular bras if I'm wearing a bra, just because I find it a little bit more comfortable because my breasts have gotten a little bit bigger. And it's like, it almost like, it's kind of constricting almost sometimes with just like my breast size now. I'll show so i usually wear uh most of the time i wear like wireless bras or sometimes i wear like a regular t-shirt bra as well but i'm a really big fan of wireless bras basically i'll probably do another video about like bras and stuff for trans women um in the future if you guys would be interested in that make sure to comment that down below um i know you guys are kind of into those kind of videos and me being like working at victoria's secret like you know i know a lot about bras like I'm, a, I'm an expert like i'm just saying like i know boobs guys hips uh okay so yeah hips and like body fat redistribution uh, body fat redistribution um yeah my hips have gotten way wider i would say i have gained a little bit of weight like you know i'd say i'm about 145 pounds now i think the last time i weighed myself so yeah my hips have gotten a lot wider i am storing a lot of fat around like my hips area my butt area which is good obviously like um that's probably the last thing that i'd say happens um you know it starts off with breast growth uh, libido changes that kind of stuff and then usually the body fat redistribution is kind of the last thing that happens it's really gotten prominent over the last 
last couple of months, I would say. Um, but yeah, honestly, like, yeah, I have pretty wide hips, I would say. If you want to check out my one year kind of with photos video, uh, you can kind of see there, but it's actually gotten a little bit more... Sorry, I think they dropped something upstairs. I was like, damn, that was like a fucking explosion upstairs. I'll probably do another video for my two year anniversary on HRT with like photos and stuff too. So you guys can check that out as well. But yeah, no, my hips have gotten a lot more wider for sure. Like, damn, like I can't even fit through doors anymore. No, <laughs> and there has been times where actually I have hit my hips on things. Like being like, whoa, what the hell? But yeah, cause I don't know. I used to be pretty damn scrawny. Now I'm like, you know, now I'm a little bit heavier on the, you know, like I'm a little bit like, you know, heavier, I would say. So, you know, it's a different different vibe but obviously in the end like i'm actually a pretty healthy weight now so you know gaining a little bit of weight when you're on hrt is not a bad thing it's actually a good thing honestly because that's you, you know you need fat for the redistribution like you can't just redistribute like like nothing you, know, you gotta you gotta you gotta eat you gotta eat guys just eat more mental changes i would say this is like probably uh, a big one as well mentally i have been feeling better um you know there are off days for sure like i'm not gonna sit here and be like oh yeah i'm feeling amazing every single day like no there's there's off days for sure and that's something to consider as well um you know obviously you know with estrogen you go through like mood swings and stuff that is a big thing you know headaches sometimes but it is one of those things that I feel more comfortable in my own body. So uh, even those kind of like side effects or like mood swings and stuff, I find that they are worth it. And if you really, uh, you, you know, you really want to transition and like this is a big decision, obviously, it is worth it in the end. But yeah, I would say I, I do have mood swings sometimes, I would say, but it's not really intense. Um, obviously, me being more emotional, I am a lot more emotional, I would say, compared to when I wasn't on HRT, but it has gotten a lot better over, you know, the last couple of months for sure, and that's kind of how it works. It's like, it's really crazy at the start when you first start, but then after a while, you kind of get used to it, I would say, right? But yeah, that's really about it for this video, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching my channel. Like, you know, we're almost uh, coming up to two years of doing this channel, which is pretty crazy, um, and I really do appreciate all my fans and everybody that watches me. Um, it's so cool sometimes, like, I'm on reddit and like you know people will post on like trans uh subreddits like oh what's your fave trans youtuber and then i'll like show up in a couple of comments and it's so crazy like just like it's so nuts that people like actually like watch my channel and like they're inspired by me and stuff and like i really do appreciate that like you know i do appreciate it every day you guys keep me going with this channel you know it is a lot of work doing these videos and editing and stuff and then also working another job as well and having other stuff going on but i do really appreciate everybody that watches these videos it keeps me going like honestly it's really like a dream come true you know i always wanted to be like a youtuber when i was uh growing up and stuff and you know a lot of people didn't really understand my career path like thinking like oh no like you know like people have told me you need to reconsider your career that kind of stuff but I've just kind of realized that you know as an adult and stuff you know you don't have everything together like you know you don't have to have everything together to be successful and just like live like a fun life you know like I'm I'm, I'm out here like I'm working to live you know like I'm not living to work um and that's why I do appreciate everybody that watches this channel and like honestly it's 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 unreal it's really unreal really besides that make sure to follow me on patreon uh or join my patreon sorry join my channel here if you want to support me even more um, um, you know, make sure to join my Discord server if you want to meet some more like-minded fans. And yeah, make sure to follow me on Instagram at samdowney44. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash samdowney. And catch you guys next time. Peace!